Hi guys, I'm back. And as you can see, I have a very large canvas here. It is an 18 inch by 24 inch canvas and a very small cup for, normally I would do probably at least five flip cups on this size canvas. Um, but we're going to do a little experiment today. We're going to stretch the cells as far as we can stretch them. So I'm going to do a small flip cup in the center of the canvas after I cover it in white paint and see how far we can get it to stretch. Uh, I may or may not get out the little air wand um, to kind of blow out the edges, just so it'll kind of blend into the background if there's a lot of negative space left, if it looks like kind of a blob in the middle of the painting. Or, you know, you may draw, you know, drag a toothpick through the edges or something. Who knows? Whatever it's going to, I don't know what it's going to turn out like. Um, so, I'm going to pause for a second, pause the video. We're going to go cover this in white paint, or I guess I'm going to go cover this in white paint. <laughs> I know you guys could help if you could, but uh, yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go cover this canvas in white paint and we'll be right back. Okay, so hopefully it will stay in focus. It does not like these giant white canvases. Um, so we've covered it in white paint. I'm going to run the torch over it really quick because it's covered in air bubbles. Just want to get a few of those out of there. I've got my cup sitting there in the center because it, it won't matter that it's sitting in the middle of the paint because we're going to do the flip cup over that area anyway. Lots of air bubbles. And the reason I don't cover my canvases in white paint when y'all are watching because it's boring. I think you all know <laughs> how to cover a canvas in wet white paint. Um, what I do is I just set my canvas on, you know, I tilt it up and pour down one side and let it all drain down and then make sure I get all the edges and sides and stuff. All right, so the colors we're going to use today, I'm going to list them below, but I'll go ahead and tell you, are Artist Loft colors, all except for this one uh, Amsterdam Acrylics, the gold yellow. Everything else is Artist Loft. We've got the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White, of course. The Artist Loft Turquoise, Violet, Phthalo Blue, Brilliant Magenta, um, the Deep Magenta, and a new color for me, the Light Green. I have not used the Artist Loft Light Green. I don't know why. It's a pretty green. As you can see, I've never used it. We're going to use it today. We're going to start off by, uh, first of all, I need to stick in my white. <laughs> Um, I think we'll start with a color. Let's go with, oh, I don't know. I don't know. Let's go with this um, Brilliant Magenta. I haven't started my silicone yet, so I'm just going to start that in real quick. And like I said, we're going to do a flip cup. This is in no particular order. Stir my silicone in. Just, you know, five, ten little stirs there. Just a little bit more. And uh, you don't want to stir it in too much. I mean, if you do, it's no problem. You're still going to get cells. You're just going to get smaller cells. And the whole idea behind this, uh, you know, this experiment here is see what kind of uh, see what kind of cells we're going to get as we stretch the paint as far as it will go. I'm not trying to be real, real careful, but I do see that my paint is sinking. Um, you know, I'm kind of, I'm at about three inches up from the paint, so it's, you know, it's going to sink a little bit, I hate to say. All right, I don't know if we've gone through all the colors or not. I don't think so. I think we're missing the purple, but I don't want to put that purple right on top of that deep magenta, so we'll do it this way. I really don't want to use too much more paint. So we're going to do just a real light um, layer of each of the colors again, just so we have some variety. I 
And um, I, I've, I've told people this before. I don't know if, I mean, I think I said it on the channel. But I'm going to tell you again. Um, you'll hear a lot of artists say it doesn't matter whether you use all transparent or all opaque paints. But in my opinion, you, you get a better pour if you use both. You know, about 50% of the transparent or translucent and about 50% of the opaque. Now, I tend to go on the side of a little bit more transparent, translucent, and a little less opaque. Um, the opaque colors, the lighter ones, tend to sort of sometimes they'll wash over your other paints. But if you have a lot of transparent, you get a lot of those lines around the cells that are cool. So, um, yeah. I'm trying to figure out which color I have not added back into that. Um, I've got violet, pink. I need a little bit more of that, I think. I have a lot of paint left over. Oops. Eh, we won't worry about that. Let's do a little bit more of that on top. And then a hint more of turquoise and a hint more of phthalo blue, and that's it. Then I'm going to move all these paints off. You can't see it, but I have that other painting from the last uh, the last painting we did, which was the epic fail balloon smash. <laughs> I'm still laughing about that one because it was bad. It was bad. But I'm not going to paint over it because you guys, um, some of you get upset when I paint over things. And I mean, I kind of like it just as a painting. It's not terrible, but you know, it's definitely not what I wanted, not what we had in mind. So, um, you know, if anybody wants to purchase it, it's, it will be dry in a week and for sale. Well, by the time you actually see this video, it'll be dry. Okay. I'm just going to flip this over real quick because I don't want to pick up this giant canvas and pour white paint off of it. There we go. Oh, it's coming out. <laughs> it's pouring out because of, I guess, because I squished the cup. All right. So I'm just going to let it sit for a second. I'm holding it down so that it'll quit pouring out the bottom. I think this is way too much paint for the experiment, but I should have done like a really tiny flip cup in the middle. We shall see. All right. And I'm going to keep this paint in the cup. Oh, you got one of those caterpillar. I don't like those. I liked them at first, but now I've decided I don't like them. But that's okay. Got some cool cells showing up at the edges. Look at that. Those are cool. I want to get rid of this, so we're going to go off that way. Although, look, we've got like a, a shark right here. Look, there's this little eye and his mouth, his nose. He's missing his fin, of course, but this cell is awful. I hope that we can figure out how to get rid of that without... Well, I don't know. I mean, I can't pour it off, so look at these colors and the way they're rainbowing. They're so pretty. Okay, let's torch it. Lots of air bubbles popping as usual. So I think maybe we'll go off one side and off the other. Maybe. I don't know. Look at that. Woo, that's so fun to watch those cells pop up like that. Okay, we're going to leave that. That's plenty of cells. I wish I could get rid of this. I don't know how to get rid of it, though. I need a syringe to suck it up. <laughs> Unfortunately, all my syringes are in the sink right now. Okay. Like I said, I think we're going to go, I don't know. It's a pretty pour. I think we're going to use these colors and just do another flip cup after this. Not in the same video, but you guys know what I mean. It's cool the way these are. These cells are ballooning out into the... All right, enough yak yak. Let's uh, tilt it. And I don't want to stretch them out where they're really long and skinny, so...
I really have got to get rid of that somehow. I don't know how, but I don't know if it's even possible. Just kind of, kind of move it around. <laughs> I don't know what to do with it. Oh, goodness. I don't want to move it too fast. Oh, it's that's so pretty. I don't want to lose it. I really, I don't know what to do with all of this. Well, let's just go down this way. I don't want to pour too much of it off the edge, but I do want it to come off the edge. Let's bring them back so we can keep them sort of intact. It's really pretty poor though. We're definitely going to have to use these colors again. We'll do another, I'll just do an, uh, another plain pour. Well, they're all kind of going wonky. I'm trying to keep them from going so terribly. All right. See, they're all getting squished along here, and I really don't like that. We should have done it maybe like up here and just poured it all the way down, but that's okay. We're learning. I think we're going to pour off that corner. And then bring it all the way back. Okay. They're really starting to go wonky. I, don't, I hope you guys can see this. I hope I'm not. I hope I'm in focus for one thing. They're really starting to. So let's kind of go off of. This way. All this moving around, they're really getting weird shaped. so sure about this. Let's bring them back a little bit this way and then I think we'll blow out the edges because it definitely needs something else. It's very, this corner's pretty. I mean these are kind of neat. They went really wonky but they look they still look kind of kind of neat I think. Just watching it move, seeing if they're still moving. Because I just wanted to thin out this corner right here because it got really thick. Okay. <laughs> well, it's interesting, right? Let's um let's let's blow out the edges a little bit. Let's see what we can do here.
I like it where it really blows off into the white, where you can't, where it just sort of fades into the white. It doesn't just really stop really hard. That makes sense. You gotta be careful. I don't want to ruin anything that's pretty on the edges. <laughs> the shape is way too static. It's kind of boring. Kick those out a little bit. Trying to keep from touching the painting, obviously. It's a little better with those sort of inserts. A little bit, sort of. Kind of, kind of, sort of. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. It's... Okay. Well, I'm not really sure what else to do to it. I think we're going to leave it. Let's torch this baby real quick. I don't want to torch it too hard because I don't want a bunch of little cells popping up. And they're going to, as it sits, as it sits here for the next 10 to 15 minutes. Um, off camera, it will pop up with more, a few more little cells. So, get those air bubbles out. Okay, that's. I kind of wish this had come off of this corner. No, maybe not. No, it probably would have been better if it had come off that corner. But I didn't want to keep tilting it because, as you can see, this is what happens when you try and stretch the cells as far as possible. They really start going wonky shaped. Um, this corner is pretty here. Even though the cells are all kind of wonky, they're still really good. But these are really gone into some interesting shapes. So, you know, I don't know. It's kind of cool. 
Let's get y'all down so you can see a little better. Alright, here is the bottom. This is the bottom corner there, as you can see. And the edges that we've blown out over there. And these really wonky shaped cells. Look at the shapes we've got going on there. pretty got some cells going on in the uh, wispiness over there the little right there and right there those I always like those those are really cool more wonky wonky shaped cells that's pretty much all there are the only perfect cells there are now are the ones that have come up after we left it alone and it started you know they came up a little bit after afterwards while we were torching and I don't know. It's kind of kind of neat looking. What do you guys think? Let me know. Okay. Well, it's kind of interesting. I'm not sure if I love it or not. I'm going to stare at it for a while. I definitely like the colors together, obviously, but I don't know. It's it's kind of it, it looks like it needs something. I don't know. Maybe it needs some kind of um you know, multimedia influence, maybe some, a wire tree or, I don't know. I need something. All right. Well, this is where I'm going to leave you. There's your pretty for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, that's as far as that paint was going to stretch. It was starting to move really, really slowly. So, um, you know, those of you who have <laughs> wondered what would happen if you stretched it really far, this is what happens. Your cells go really wonky and, um, all kind of get smooshed together but it's kind of it's kind of a neat piece it kind of looks like underwater to me all right i hope wherever you are on the planet you're having an awesome afternoon day evening or night and thank you to all my subscribers all my viewers everyone who's donated to my channel thank you very much um my link to my website and my paypal link are below if you'd like to donate to my channel or buy a piece of my art um and if y'all will watch the ads for me that's how i get my ad revenue um yeah, it's really awesome. Those of you who watch the ads for me every time you watch my videos, I know it's kind of tedious, but some of the ads are actually kind of cool. Um, but, uh, yeah, thank you so much for everything that all of you have done for me, and thanks for sticking around and enjoying my channel and, you know, all the lovely questions and comments. Thank you so much. See you later. Bye.